It's the town of Harrogate in North Yorkshire, my home. As with all small towns, when things change, they're noticed a little bit more keenly than in large cities. So what's happened in 2019 and what is going to happen in 2020? This is obviously quite a small and quite a short film, so it can't contain everything. So what are your views? What did I get right? What did I get wrong? What have I missed? Leave your comments down below and let's all have a chat about what we think about our town. Empty stores in Harrogate is a really new phenomenon. There seems to be more of them this year. And I do suspect that this place has got something to do with that. St James's Retail Park, which is at Knaresborough, goes from strength to strength. You can hardly get parked here. The tenants have really changed here over the last few years. I think there was BHS, a few others. Um, now you've got TK Maxx, you've got M&S, Boots. Next, uh, Argos over there, I think, Matalan. And you do wonder how much of an effect that has had on the town centre. The one change during 2020 is likely to happen on the piece of land behind me. It's the ex gasworks and for years it was owned by Tesco's. Now rumour has it it's going to be turned into a new retail park right on the end of Ripon Road. So back in town we walked on the main drag and we turned left onto Beulah Street and we've got Coupland's Bakery. We don't have a Thomas's anymore but Next is in its place. That arrived uh, towards the beginning of last year and it's gone from its current location which is now a discount store. Gap has gone, that's now an art gallery, uh, which is uh, just facing Station Parade, and in that general area as well, there's been a development. Uh, all of that area around the station has now been done up pretty much, Black's has now been refurbished, and there's a furniture store there called Cotswold. Post office is closed, that's now relocated to the Victoria Centre, it's in WH Smith. And speaking of the Victoria Centre, Pound World is now Pound Land. first time I'd ever heard of Harrogate was the 1982 Eurovision Song Contest. It was held there because of the victory the previous year of Buck's Fizz, and what a night it was, it really put the exhibition centre on the map. But something that puts Harrogate on the map every single year is the Great Yorkshire Show. A great year, 2019. It's missed the attendance record by only 16 people, and I'm going to show you that, and then some UCI cycling footage as well. And as you can see here, three months on, four months on, in fact, the West Park Stray is still in a bad, bad way, still really muddy. But let's not panic. It will grow back. It's grass. Let's not use this as an excuse to prevent events from this, like this happening in the future. It was fantastic to see a real buzz around time when it was happening. And yes, it wasn't an enormous success. That was the weather. Nothing could have been done about that. Let's, uh, let's carry on doing things like this. Let's carry on welcoming the world.
However, I think one thing that really we must get better at is some of the traffic management. Local businesses did report that their staff couldn't get to work and some, as a result, had to shut up shop during the event. That can't be right. When local events like this do happen, it must be the local businesses that are the first to prosper, surely. The new Azuma trains operating from Harrogate six times daily to London are going to be a bit of a game changer for LNER and they certainly look great and uh, the business community understandably getting quite enthusiastic about that slightly different northern they are uh, slightly in battles of course and finally getting rid of the last of the pacer trains on the Harrogate line no one's really going to shed a tear and the new uh, trains this one at Starbeck station certainly looks like quite a dramatic improvement now in terms of buses the electric buses run by Transdev in Harrogate town centre continue to be popular particularly on a Sunday when they are free three or four lines operated on a sponsorship basis the Leeds bus until 2 a.m. on a Friday and Saturday night very posh indeed and my particular favorite the uh, long and slow journey up to Pateley Bridge which is now seven days a week One change has been the move of the Roosters Brewery from Knaresborough to the uh, purpose-built facility here on Hornbeam Park. Uh, it's got a tap room which overlooks the brewery, so you actually have a look at where your beer is coming from. Both Fillmore and Union and the Greek restaurant next to it is, I think it was Greek, Suvlaki, both gone. Ivy has opened a couple of doors down from Betty's. Seems to be doing very well. To be honest, I think every single business would do very well if we could operate a couple of doors down from Betty's. This expanded last year. Cold Bath Brewing Company had bought the place next door. That means that Harrogate has now got four breweries. It has got Cold Bath Brewing Company, it's got Roosters, it's got Daleside, and it's got the Harrogate Brewing Company, which is uh, just around the corner from Morrison's at Starbeck. Pretty good in there. To be honest, their lager is better than their ale, I think. But it's great to have a microbrewery in town.
is a good example and no one's going to shed a tear that the Regency pub has gone it was the worst pub in Harrogate absolutely dreadful but they're going to squeeze probably seven or eight flats there so where are people going to park we're just off Skipton Road here and you can see how absolutely densely parked the cars are and it's only lunchtime uh, in the evening you'll see these absolutely mounting the curb etc and there's just so many houses here and let's face it most of these are going to be two car households aren't they I think this is virtually all disc parking so it does help a little bit so you can't uh, park for more than about three hours I think on here Harrogate Town's ground is here on Weatherby Road and since the 2017-2018 season it's been a fully professional club. And this is Harrogate's very own Theatre of Dreams, the CNG Stadium on Weatherby Road, playing in yellow here against York City. They play in the National League, which I still incorrectly call the, um, the Vauxhall Conference, and they're doing really well second so far. Does this mean that league football could be on its way to Harrogate? Let's, uh, let's certainly hope so, and certainly... Uh, a little bit more of a grassroots football experience is Harrogate Railway. They play the Northern Counties East League, Division 1, and uh, you might not get league football coming to Harrogate Railway anywhere soon, but it's likely that you will get after a game a decent portion of Pie and Peas. So as I said, those are my impressions of Harrogate. Uh, 2019 going into 2020. Some of that no doubt you'll agree with, some of it you'll no, no doubt disagree with either way please put your comments down below in the comment section so we can all talk about what we think of our town uh, please if you're not a subscriber then do consider hitting that subscribe button it is free and the notification bell will let you know as and when i put more content up on this channel and as ever thanks for watching